Disney may be the leader in animation, but even the king stumbles sometimes. While the House of Mouse has given us some beloved animated classics over the years, they have also released some duds that just didn't find an audience. Some of these films were poorly promoted, and others were just a little ahead of their time. Disney chose not to feature most of these movies in their theme parks, which didn't help their long-term popularity either. While these Disney films have been largely forgotten by moviegoers, many of them deserve a second look. Although they may have faded from memory, these films are ready to be rediscovered as they are all available to stream on the Disney Plus streaming service. Here are 10 animated Disney films that hardly anyone remembers now. Atlantis – The Lost Empire a movie about the mysterious underwater city should have been a hit, but Atlantis The Lost Empire failed to click with audiences and critics alike. Michael J. Fox stars as Milo, a museum worker who believes he's discovered the location of Atlantis. A submarine expedition sets out and finds the lost civilization where Milo and the crew meet an ancient people who need their help. With no musical numbers and lots of action, the film simply didn't appeal to younger viewers. There's adventure and humor for older children, but directors Gary Trousdale and Kirk Wise were unable to repeat the success they had a decade earlier with Beauty and the Beast. Oliver and Company Oliver and Company is a thoroughly entertaining musical from 1988 featuring some catchy music written by a number of artists, including Billy Joel, Barry Manilow, and Howard Ashman. The film is an updated version of Oliver Twist, now set in modern-day New York City and featuring animals in the lead roles. A young Joey Lawrence voiced Oliver and Billy Joel voiced Dodger, with Bette Midler and Cheech Marin rounding out the cast. Future Oscar-nominated filmmaker James Mangold co-wrote the script, which is both funny and heartwarming in the classic Disney tradition. The film was a box office hit at the time, but the Disney renaissance began a year later with The Little Mermaid, so Oliver and Company is inexplicably overshadowed today. Planes you might have forgotten that there was a spin-off of the Pixar classic Cars. That's okay, because Disney hopes you forgot planes as well. The 2013 movie follows a talking crop-dusting plane that wants to enter a race. The plane is voiced by Dane Cook, who, like the film, has also been forgotten by moviegoers. The movie was trashed by critics and it bombed at the box office, but for some reason, Disney released a sequel, Planes, Fire and Rescue, less than a year later. Needless to say, it flopped at the box office as well. This is one Disney film that deserves to be forgotten. Bolt If you've seen Bolt, you'll wonder why the film isn't more popular. If you don't remember Bolt, don't feel bad. Even though it grossed over 300 million in ticket sales worldwide and was nominated for an Oscar for Best Animated Feature, Disney seems to treat it like a flop. It's a shame because Bolt is a delightful adventure about an acting dog who thinks the TV show he appears in is real life and that he has actual superpowers. When he is separated from the girl who takes care of him, he sets out on an adventure to reunite with her. The film was written by Dan Fogelman, who also wrote Tangled and went on to create This Is Us. It has a lot of laughs, a scene-stealing gerbil, and a nice moral about loving your pets. John Travolta and Miley Cyrus provide voices, and regardless of your age, you'll probably enjoy this underrated film. Treasure Planet Treasure Planet takes the pirate tale from Robert Louis Stevenson's classic novel Treasure Island and sets it in space with a mix of traditional and computer animation. The film plays out much like the book, except this time Jim Hawkins and John Silver travel to a distant planet in search of riches with a ragtag crew on board their spaceship. The visuals are great and the film is highly entertaining, but it bombed at the box office. Even so, it earned an Oscar nomination for Best Animated Feature, and it found a following on home video and streaming. Chicken Little In 2005, Disney attempted to replicate the success of DreamWorks movies like Shrek by making Chicken Little. And while it has plenty of modern humor and the talents of Zach Braff in the lead role, audiences didn't show up for the movie. It failed to make back its $150 million budget in the United States, but it did better with overseas audiences. It isn't easy to build a whole film around a joke about the sky falling, so Disney decided the best way to expand the story was to add aliens to the plot. The silly story is too over the top, and the computer animation hasn't aged very well. The film never gained much of a following, and it currently sits in a forgotten corner of the Disney Plus library. Brother Bear you likely forgot that Joaquin Phoenix made a Disney movie, but that's okay because he likely wants you to forget it as well. 
In 2003's Brother Bear, Phoenix voices Kenai, a young member of an Alaskan Inuit tribe who needlessly kills a bear in anger. As punishment, he is magically turned into a bear until he learns the value of life in harmony with nature. The film was blasted by critics for borrowing a bit too much from the Pocahontas model. It all seemed a bit too familiar, and despite a decent box office return, it doesn't rank very high on the list of Disney classics. The film opened six months after Finding Nemo and could never really escape its shadow. On the plus side, it features the voice talents of the late Michael Clark Duncan and Harold Gould. Comedians Rick Moranis and Dave Thomas, the stars of the classic comedy Strange Brew, star as two scene-stealing moose. Phil Collins provides some fantastic music as well. Home on the Range Back in 2004, someone at Disney thought it would be a great idea to make Home on the Range, an animated western musical about a cow voiced by Roseanne Barr. This isn't the only problem with the film, but it's a big one. It was one of Disney's last films to feature traditional hand-drawn animation, and it honestly does look great. And it has some funny moments despite often feeling like a long Looney Tunes episode. Parents and kids don't seem interested in the film, though, as it flopped at the box office, despite the voice talents of Dame Judi Dench, Cuba Gooding Jr., and Randy Quaid. The Incredibles opened a few months later, so Disney fans moved on. Meet the Robinsons Meet the Robinsons is an absolutely wild sci-fi comedy adventure that you wouldn't know was from Disney if the credits didn't tell you. It tells the story of Lewis, an orphan with a knack for building genius inventions. It isn't long before the time-traveling Robinson family whisks him away to the future to stop a mysterious man who stole one of his inventions. The trippy time-travel plot has some fun twists and lots of jokes, and the end is surprisingly moving. The film received solid reviews from critics, but it fell short at the box office. If you're looking for an underrated Disney movie to discover, this is it. The Black Cauldron In 1985, Disney tried to appear to a wider, older audience by creating a dark, serious fantasy film. The result was The Black Cauldron, the first Disney animated movie to be rated PG. However, the movie flopped so badly that Disney tried to bury it for years. Loosely based on Lloyd Alexander's Prydane Chronicles books, the film tells the story of Turan, a young boy on a quest to stop the evil Horn King from taking over the world by obtaining the powerful Black Cauldron. The king is after Turan's magic pig, Hen Wen, who has the power to find the cauldron. Unfortunately, audiences didn't seem interested in a magic pig movie. The film has a definite Lord of the Rings vibe, including a strange sidekick creature that acts a lot like Gollum. Audiences were turned off by the lack of songs, the dark tone, and the violence, and the film disappeared from theaters quickly. It took 13 years for Disney to release it on home video, where it gained a cult following from fans of fantasy adventure. Like some other films in this video, it's been largely forgotten, but doesn't need to be. 